What's going on, everyone? Jeremy here from The Quartering, and it's my second sports ball video of all time. Now, you may be a sports ball fan, and you might be wondering why you're watching a YouTube video with a guy with a hat that says Meme War Veteran. Well, I cover everything pop culture, movies, entertainment, and all, honestly, almost everything that's absolutely crazy in the world. And sports is no different. I'm actually a huge sports fan, big Milwaukee Bucks fan. Unfortunately, um, this season was interrupted, but I would have been nice to see them in the finals. Looks like that's getting restarted soon. Huge Brewers fan, uh, Packer fan, and we don't have an NHL team, but uh, I suppose I would say New Jersey Devils if I had to pick, uh, although it kind of fluctuates. I'm not very loyal if I don't have a team to go see every day. Um, and I enjoy sports wildly. Most every night, uh, I relax watching Brewers baseball games or NBA game. This is how I get down. This is how I relax. I've been missing sports. Obviously, understanding that there are bigger issues at hand right now, so I'll live. But um, interestingly enough, Drew Brees, uh, now everybody, it's basically like this virtue call-out thing now where they're shoving the mic in a lot of people's faces who really don't have any experience or education on the complex political uh, topics that people are asking them to, and they're forcing sound bites, and sometimes they're blowing up in people's faces. Drew Brees today was asked about his opinions at kneeling, and, uh, well, he didn't like it. And so basically every major uh, sports athlete across the world has been dragging him in the hours following. And I've got an interesting, I think, take on this because, um, you know, I, I don't believe that uh, you can – I don't believe you can have it both ways. Freedom of speech goes both ways. And if you believe that it's it's cool and, and does, it's not inoffensive to, to kneel during the national anthem, but Drew Brees does, guess what? That's how freedom of speech works. But nonetheless, uh, it is unpopular to not uh, have the mainstream narrative opinion this day these days. So after earlier sharing a message of unity on social media, New Orleans Saints quarterback Drew Brees attracted Backlash later Wednesday when he reiterated his stance that how he will never agree with anybody disrespecting the flag of the United States of America during an interview with Yahoo Finance. I ain't doing that interview, Drew, anyway. Uh, they were his first comments in the wake of everything that went on with George Floyd. And Bree's remarks on the flag drew sharp rebuke on social media, including the L.A. Laker, Laker star LeBron James. Yeah, you know, the same guy that said absolutely nothing when China cucked the entire NBA and wouldn't let its own employees stand in solidarity with Hong Kong. You know, LeBron James, the guy didn't say anything when they were kicking people out of stadiums who had signs that said, I stand with Hong Kong. You know, the same guy that makes millions of dollars a year from the Chinese market couldn't have possibly had a conflict of interest there. Nonetheless, Breeze gave a lengthy response to ESPN when asked about the perceived conflict between the two stories including the potential divide in his own locker room, where players like Malcolm Jenkins and Demario Davis are among the leaders of the Players' Coalition seeking social justice and racial equality. I love and respect my teammates, and I stand right there with them in regards to their fight to racial equity and justice. I also stand with my grandfathers who risked their lives with this country and countless other military men and women who do it on a daily basis. So let me break down the outrage to you. Drew Brees sees kneeling during the national anthem as disrespecting the flag, other people say it's not about the flag. It's about police um, being out of control. Again, it means that to you, and that's okay. And you know what? You want to kneel during it? You go ahead. Um, but to Drew Brees, he sees it as disrespectful to the flag, and he doesn't want to do it. So you can't have it both ways. Uh, LeBron James lighting him up saying, wow, man. Is it still surprising at this point? Um, sure isn't. You literally don't understand what Ka why Cap was kneeling one on one knee. He absolutely that has absolutely nothing to do with the disrespect of the flag. Our soldiers, men and women, who keep our land free. My father-in-law was one of those. Uh, he goes on to say, you know, that it was it's oh men who fought for this country. I asked him a question about it and thank him for his time and his commitment. He never found Cap peaceful protest offensive. Because he and I both knew what was right and what is wrong. God bless you. You know, he's, you know, social media accounts belonging to the brothers Devin McCourty and Jason McCourty in the New England Patriots called Breeze comments a disgrace to speak about your grandfathers as if there weren't black men fighting next to them. Though, again, again, these people, 
want Drew Brees, Drew Brees' interpretation to be the exact same as theirs. And it doesn't work that way. I'm not saying that, um, you know, he pro he's entitled to his opinion. I, if he had gone so far as to say, like, it should be banned or you should be fined, that's probably not a good take. Um, and I would disagree with that. And, and I admit, I am somebody that strongly dislikes the kneeling during N NFL games. Uh, it's a time uh, of togetherness and not divisive political messaging. However, that's my opinion. And you know what? If I don't like it, it's literally just uh, I could go smoke a cig. I could go have some nachos. I could, I could uh, go refill my drink. It doesn't affect me. They can do it. I'll live. Uh, but of course, you know, you have to agree with the hive mind um, then or face cancellation. You see, just another person who values property and symbols over people. The flag means nothing if there isn't freedom and equality for all. Newsflash, real life people are more important than a piece of fabric. Right. Again, this is a straw man. This isn't what Drew Brees said. Drew Brees said, I don't, uh, I don't respect kneeling for the flag. I find it disrespectful. And you got hoops over dang my quarterback is named Karen. People are roasting him. And, and you know, is it the generally approved uh, opinion? You know, you got Sonny. Drew Brees, play, Drew Brees plays for New Orleans, but still don't see why black people fight for equality. Well, I mean, I don't know. People are very, very riled up right now. I think the more diplomatic answer for Drew Brees uh, would have been something like, <clears throat> you know, it's always difficult for me to understand or it's always difficult for me to uh, separate the flag and our, and our men and women in the armed services. I understand people kneel for a different reason, but it's hard for me to separate. Uh, and I think both people should be respected or both, both people's opinions should be respected. But he spoke his mind, which he's absolutely entitled to. And you have, you know, LeBron James losing his mind. Bree said he wouldn't support kneeling during the national anthem because he believes it's disrespectful. Again, it's just a symbol, right? Just like kneeling. So symbols mean different things to different people. The okay hand symbol to 99% of people uh, uh, means okay. To 1% weirdos out there, they think it's a symbol of the supremacy, okay? There's all sorts of, of symbols that mean different things to different people. Would I have said this? Probably not today. You know, probably not today. Uh, you probably just toss out that that uh, generic platitude and you live to fight another day. Colin Kaepernick began kneeling during the national anthem in 2016 and protests against uh, racial injustice, which met criticism in the league among fans. The quarterback became a free agent in 2017 after six seasons with the Niners and has been unsigned ever since. Breeze was one among those that criticized Kaepernick in 2016, saying it was disrespectful to the American flag. Okay, so Drew Breeze has been consistent in that, right? It's not like Drew Brees is coming out now and, and, and trying to stir the pot. He's always believed that. To Drew Brees, the American flag is a symbol of patriotism and maybe military service. To other people, the American flag might symbolize opportunity. To other people, maybe it symbolizes racial injustice. That's what symbolism is. It, it means something to different to each people, each person. There are very few signs that are totally universal. Um, and the, something as, as steeped in history and, 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 and trouble and, and memories as, as the American flag, um, it's going to mean something different to every, everybody. And, um, you know, I think you got Snoop Dogg, you know, dragging him. Drew, you want some bull STFU. I mean, you know, maybe instead of attacking the guy, you could say, look, you know, we disagree on this, but, uh, you know, I, I, I'd love to talk to you about it rather than piling on, you know, maybe, maybe, um, some of the, some of the people piling on him would offer a conversation to try and educate him on it. Granted, it's been three years and this is just his opinion. Uh, I don't think any of his players won't play hard for him because of this. I don't think that 
just because Drew Brees views the American flag differently than other people, uh, that he doesn't like black people. It's just right now, anything anybody says is just massively um, uh, scrutinized, proliferated. And the amount of people out there, by the way, looking for people, looking for brands, NFL players, corporations to tell you what's right or wrong, wake up. If you're looking for CNN, Fox News to tell you what's right or wrong, wake up. All right. Athletes aren't role models. All right. You know what's right and wrong. Personal responsibility. You disagree with Drew Brees? Cool. All right. But also understand that he, if you want to have your opinion, that he's allowed to have his. I hope you enjoyed this video. We'll talk to you again real soon.